right, so now that we know a little bit about Amadeo Modigliani, we are going to draw a self-portrait in this style. And on your paper, you'll see that I folded it in half vertically, and then we folded it in half again horizontally, and then into quarters horizontally. And we're going to use those in order to, sh to uh, keep proper proportions so that our self-portraits look sort of similar to his. We're gonna start our face at the middle line and we're going to have it, of course, in the center. Um, our oval is going to be elongated and long. It's going to go not to the tippy top, because we do need to leave a little room for hair, but maybe um, at least to halfway through that top box. So maybe start there about halfway to that top box, and you're going to make an oval with your black oil pastel that comes down and around. Now that you've got that oval, it's going to be longer and thinner than a normal head would be. You're going to make your neck. You're going to draw an elongated neck that starts at the bottom of the oval and it can be thin. It's not meant to look really realistic until you get to the bottom fold line. So you're doing it for one whole section of the fold. And then I know that you can't see the bottom of my paper below here, but I've got one more section and that's where you're going to make a neckline and you're going to make the bottom of your shirt so I'll show you that for a moment I'm just gonna make some sort of sh sloped shoulders that go down off the bottom of the page All right so now let's look back up at the head we're going to um, we're gonna go ahead and add some hair so since I am a woman I'm gonna make myself have some like bangs that go off to the side and then I'm gonna make long hair that comes down around like this again it doesn't have to be really realistic because he did it in kind of an impressionist style now we're going to add facial features the eyes need to go above this top fold line so we're going to make almond shaped eyes right at that top fold line. You may make pupils in your eyes. He typically did not, but it does look a little creepy without the pupils. So if you want to put pupils in your eyes or you can just leave them empty like he did. Your nose should start at the top fold line and come down in a long L shape. He made very pointy noses and remember those African masks? He made his noses to look sort of like the noses on those. Your mouth is going to be small and come towards the bottom of your face. So you can make it smiling or just a straight line, but you're just going to make a small little mouth there. I think actually on my mouth I'm going to add some lips, which would also be in his style, and which will give me something to color in. So the next step is adding color to our portrait. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna choose maybe a, a warm color for your face, your face, but it doesn't have to be super realistic. So there is a skin color in, in the oil pastels. Um, this light brown might be nice. You can use one of those colors or really choose a color that you like. I think I'm gonna try this gold. It's not really my skin color, but I'm gonna try it. Okay, so I've colored this in and I've actually done almost um, two layers of oil pastel on here so that it's really nice and, and dark. And now I'm going to do my eyes, my lips, my hair, and my shirt. And you might want to pick things that really sort of contrast with your black background. Now that we've got our portrait mostly done, I'm going to re-outline things with black oil pastel before adding a final background with a color of my choice. Alright, so I hope that you learned something about Amadeo Modigliani and that you were able to enjoy this self-portrait in his style.